Actually, I should have made more syringe. Yeah. Ah. I don't have enough watery brisk blood samples. All right. I feel like I should save the the threes for when I'm desperate. I just like stick with the twos. I have the twos equipped. I have twos equipped. There was a back door. I oh okay, it's just like bridges between these two areas. Did I just go through the back door? I just went through the back door. I bet, you, I, bet you his, I bet you his mansion's right over there. I bet you. I can unlock our way to Whitechapel. I guarantee you that there's a, a locked door right ahead of me. Oh, hello. He's beefy. Yeah, they can, they can just, they can just go about their evening. Over there. One in the Are you sure? I saw before. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard? And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. Holy shit. Uh, I'm here on my own. I'm here on my own, sir. I have no official appointment other than my desire to save lives. Then we have the same objective, sir. The difference is, to catch my suspects, I use a magnifying glass and handcuffs instead of a microscope. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with the civilians, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Um. Um. I don't know what you mean. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day.
Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Um... McCullum? I'd like to report a name, Inspector. Jeffrey McCullum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante, trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Then I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank you, sir. I thought about Virgo, but I'm like, first of all, he's dead. Second of all, why would I... He was like a Volcod vampire, like... Terrible name for her. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. I just She's found her. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Uh... Do you know anything in particular about a Whatever. man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Do you need... I'm afraid... Ooh. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. If I want update to our sleep. Yeah, maybe. People are left. Just, just a few. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now, but she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Really? Have I changed? Actually, I'm not really paying. I'm, I'm not picking. I did not pick up on the moves the being moved on me. I'm not gonna lie. And the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Doctor Reed. You're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. 
I am convinced that like the reason that I am taller than everybody Tell me more about is so they can have the camera angle of the way that they safe? want and have Remember them like imposing in the, in the on the side. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. It's so you can kind it's so that you're always just looking down on people just a little bit. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Spider's back. I decided to just crush it this time. Instead of flicking it. I learned my lesson from the earwig. They always come back for some reason. It's all. Um, I don't need any more parts or anything. We always need potassium and shit, though. One hundred and fifty of this. I have to do this one at a time. I mean, that's good. Uh, I can't hold it either. Goddamn. Like, clearly we're not prepared for mass, mass, mass sellings. Uh, I think I'll keep all of these. Cell serums and ammunition and shit. I really just. Where am I gonna get this treatment for headache? Where did I get this flower? Can I put it on that grave? Oh, I have two of these. Flower like those offered to the poor by Dorothy Crane's accomplice, Camellia Flowergo. I've definitely gotten this off of killing some people. I think. I, su I suppose it like hints at like a connection that she would have. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. <laughs> I cannot enter. She's like in the basement or something. Can't get down there unless I get the key. Oh, I didn't cure her fatigue. Good evening, Miss. You know Do you need Oh yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> Goodbye. Dr. Reed. I am glad.
Ja. Ja. Okay. Uh, okay. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? What kind of question is that? What am I supposed to answer, exactly? The truth. And I believe you just did it, actually. Mm. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me about your brother? He's yes. older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles that is I very think it makes me think that they're city. twins. Without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. That's a very relatable trap. I think a lot of people trap. feel that way. And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Goodbye for now, Mr. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only what wish kind of I could culture does the name Agamemnon come from originally? Also, the name like Pericles Baker is very odd. Because I assume Baker is an English last name, and then you just your name is Pericles? Who names their kid Pericles? Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here? Like outside of Greece. Night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Is there I anyone named Pericles now? I'm not really sure. Is that still, is that like a name that's still in use? Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? Not really. No, I don't. I don't recognize it anymore. Or perhaps I just don't like it anymore. Now that I've seen its true face. I don't recognize it either. Or at least what it's become. Hate. Violence. Social disparity. And I am not talking about the criminality these days. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. 
But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. My money's on him being a philosopher. Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing. It's very true. For what reason? But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. All right. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Goodbye. They both have, like, kind of not said much of anything. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I've somehow managed to do this. And I've somehow not gleaned any more hints. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Very strange. I'll probably never meet her unless I kill her. That's my that's my opinion. I have the I have this hunch that like her daughter is actually locked in the basement. And she's like, oh yeah, no, I I worried about her. But I don't have to worry about her anymore. She's a young woman now. Really what she's saying is she's fucking locked in the basement and she can't get out, which is why I don't have to worry about her. That's what I think. I have no idea. This is oh wait, this would be the person I saw that was like way down below. I just looked down. And I was like, how the fuck are they way down there? Alright. It's the front. The front door of this church would be over on this side. Is there even is one? Oh, yeah. No, this is the back. It's locked. Where the hell's the front of this church? Is it over there? Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's that, that right there. If I could fucking. I hate it. I can't even, like, like do anything. As soon as it's in the red circle, it's like, hey, hey, just stay on the, on the Y, but it's definitely there. Especially since you zoom in, and then it just fucking tells you. <laughs> just straight up tells you. Went the wrong way. Oh, I can't just completely look. There's no door to this church. I guess, I guess he would be down here. I forgot about this. Stepping on pressure plates? Oh shit. A secret entrance. The crime of lost knowledge. Jonathan Reed. Last oh, shit. we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. 
Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of oh. St. Paul Stowell, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they can tell me everything. They told me that you are a new Ekon who relishes his blood diet. A little bit. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stowe. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Oh, I'm Some reading it. Are not meant to if be I see this, I'm fucking reading even it. Even to immortals. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time. Sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me? You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. I mean, uh I'm sure Swansea could have told him. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Does it? Does it really? Read my fortune, then. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being. So powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Can you read the cards for me? Are I used to read tarot sure cards at one point. Know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Sure, I got lots of money. Here is the money. The snake, a bitter woman, smiling as she pours poison in your cup. A shaming betrayal. Hate. Venus? That was for a Venus? Interesting. Can you read the cut? Put the money on the t Here. The glutton. A man who just eats life as a cake. A righteous ego, surprised to fall in love. Hmm. That's kind of neat. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them. And the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. 
How did you learn about Mary? For some reason, and I, I'm always the like hocus um, pocus parlor tricks. The truth now. Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information. I knew, I knew it. I fucking he knew Swansea to just told him. About Mary. Mary did not deserve her fate. But uh, for some reason, I keep uh, forgetting that the Brotherhood exists life. and just like being like, oh, pre win. The pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. Pain will never stop. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. Speak. All right. Let me hear it. Your heart will bleed back all the blood you drank, but it would not put out the fire your treachery has lit. All right. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Goodbye, sir. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Cards never lie, but they are never easy to read. It's locked. I wonder what's up with the pressure plates up here. I saw that circle. See, I just sort of like the corner of the screen sometimes. I'm not gonna reset it. Because I feel like, because I've seen the circle, I know it's gonna lead this way. This might just be story later on. <laughs> but uh, I feel like this one is last. Actually, progress the main story. Enough dilly dallying. Yeah. <laughs> 
God damn. Oh, oh, I tried to parry and it just didn't. I feel like I pressed it at the right time, but I guess it was too far away. My bad. Barely didn't get it off in time. Fuck. God damn it. Those guys are still kind of hard, but they're not as bullshit as some of the vampires. So I'm definitely going to take uh, flame when I get the parts I need. This is quite the creepy uh, courtyard he has here. Dark and foreboding. You can hear like a wolf howling in the distance. I actually heard a cool thing about wolves. I was listening to the podcast Invisibilia and they had one on sound. And this guy discovered that wolves will actually howl in a pack quietly for a while before they do like the loud howling. And it sounds like this sort of creepy moaning wind. And like, they like played a clip of it. It was actually really cool Dawson's to see. Dawson's mansion. Cool to hear. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No, I'm not. I'm gonna kill him. Do I even need to loot the house? I don't really need to loot the house. Shling. He's not upstairs, he's behind that door, so. I really don't need to leave the house. I don't know why I'm doing it. I have so much loot. I guess there could be letters and shit. Execution of John Francis Sparrow. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Hmm. Everything. This is why I never could finish games like Witcher 3. Spend so much time just wandering around looting everything. Oh, 
Well, this is why I have so much shit. I had like a, hundred, a few hundred bullets and things like that. It's locked, all right. This is a pretty nice room, though. I've always had a soft spot for like multi, like two-story rooms with like balconies inside. I've always had a soft spot for things like that. I've always wanted that. Like if I ever like owned a house, I would definitely want to have like one, at least just like the one room in the house. Like maybe make it like a living room with like viewing balconies into the living room from a certain other part of the house or something. I'm sure it's a bitch to clean, but I don't fucking clean. <laughs> at least not enough. I go through this door. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence, kind of had that, us, I'm jealous. and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. What do you know about what the what it's like to have that much money? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Why is he not doing this now? He doesn't need to be immortal to do that. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. 
But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Oof, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a big oof on, on every count. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are time. spotted. We've had this conversation already. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. I'm intrigued by the charm answer. We get your fear of dying. I think it's better to convince Ascalon Club that, like, we tried and he died trying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. Come, Lord. I thought about the charm because it's like he was going to die either way. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? I mean, that's, that's a pretty good point, actually. I don't think his body would be able to handle it. it here's the thing, it probably would. Got two keys? Three keys? How many keys did I just get? Got three keys. I mean, I saw a safe. Oh, he has three saves. I know the other one's upstairs. Or one of the other ones was upstairs. I don't know where the third one is. Where was the third save? I don't remember seeing one. It's probably back in this half of the house, though. If I had to guess. He's right fucking here. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive. I don't know what happened. He didn't survive the procedure. If they inspect the he body, they're gonna they're gonna fucking know. This is know. unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Mm -hmm. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. 
Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Hospital. Okay, this is definitely that was that choice I made with Aloysius. It definitely feels like um, it, that definitely feels like something that seriously affects the end of the game. Unless he dies, no matter what. Like if I try and he dies, and then I get like cast out from Ascalon, no matter what. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. It'd be disappointing so if that was true, though. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. If you're wondering why I'm like... smiling, like fake smiling, Thinking why? It's because I smell something like smoky, and it vaguely smells like burnt toast. And I'm like, am I having a stroke? So I'm just like looking at myself in the camera, and I'm like, can I smile? Yes, I can. It's fine. <laughs> not having a stroke. At least not yet. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted. But at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste. So be quick. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am yeah. old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool. And just as strong as you. She's probably stronger with a level 20 mesmerize. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes. But my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. 
Now that weird smell vaguely smells like craft dinner. Which apparently is called something else in America. Like, apparently that's a Canadian label. No time to like lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Just say we need to talk. Tell her we need to talk. In the end, is this not what we all need? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. I think it's just called what it actually is, which is Kraft Mac and Cheese, but in, in Canada, for some reason, it's Kraft Dinner. I haven't had that in years at this point. It just became too disgusting to me. <laughs> I can go to her house to get some dialogue. Is it even going to be useful? Whatever, let's go. Let's go to our house. What I'm going to end up doing when I finish this game is I'm going to end up... Um, Like looking up a walkthrough domain, and being like, it's just macaroni and cheese. Yeah, which is like, that's what it is. But for some reason, they branded it specifically as craft dinner. Which is, sure, I guess, like it's very odd. Maybe we had enough, like, maybe we had more options in terms of like macaroni and cheese products. The time so they had to like differentiate themselves from just mac and cheese and give it a name but yeah at one point i don't know if it was my own taste buds or i i am convinced i am convinced i remember years ago when i was still like 20 um Back in the days where I, I ate a lot of craft dinner because it's fucking cheap. Um, what the fuck? Um, I uh, I remember it. I remember making it one time. Like I bought some craft dinner, and it smelled different. Like it smelled bad. There was something about it where it just. I made it. I made it the same way I always did, and it just smelled bad. And I tasted it. I was like, this doesn't. This doesn't taste the same like it tastes weaker in a bad way is what i thought and then uh a few months later i saw they came out with craft uh sharp cheddar craft dinner sharp cheddar and i was like i guess i'll try that and it tasted like the original craft dinner that i remember eating and i was like they fucking changed their formula I guarantee they changed their formula and like they made it they like made it cheaper therefore it tasted shitty and then they like repackaged and sold Elizabeth, the sharp cheddar for more money I'm so happy like to their see other like they have so like three, they have like three cheese and what, whatever they have all the other flavors hours. and those it's all cost well, more indeed we stand upon they just the I guarantee like they just took their regular Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea no I returned home, but moments ago. What of him? Your but friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewan has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. But yeah, ever since then, I was only ever buying the sharp cheddar. And then, and then eventually I think my taste buds changed, and I was like, this is just so gross. <laughs> Just stop, I stopped buying it. Uh, but the smell right now, I'm like, man, I could go for like a box of that. You said you I had the impression skulls. you despised skulls, and now you find them delicate. You have persuaded me, Jonathan. It has been a very long time indeed since anyone has changed my opinion of anything of note. I was concerned for your safety. McCullum draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. 
I've evaded the hunters for many a year, and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. Aloysius Dawson is no more. I took care of him. I imagine the Lord Redgrave was spitting teeth. Ascalon has defrocked me and threatens to hound me from the city. This was, no doubt, inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear, and return with good news with the greatest haste. Yes. Go to this big fight at the hospital. Yeah. Maybe next time I go, I'll just buy a box. Just one box. Just like have it for lunch one day, and then I'll probably be disgusted. I also never have butter though. I used to always have it with some butter. I don't have butter. I never buy it. That's a little awkward. I'm not gonna buy butter specifically for it. I have to though, otherwise it's not. Without the butter, it'll taste like shit. This one's mine! What is this truck? It's mine! I'll take it! Are the vampire hunters here already? I'm gonna say yes. Get out of the streets, they're coming! The British are coming! I mean... The British are coming! <laughs> How many vampires and hunters do you deal with on a nightly basis that you can handle the club? I probably can. They're... It's definitely gonna be like the hard vampire... What the fuck is this? It's definitely gonna be the Those hard bastards. vampire. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Oh, I've never actually been up here. I forgot this was a was a place. Am I gonna get taken to some secret lab? I think that's what's happening here. Secret lab. Da -da 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 -da. I'm actually jonesing for some KD. <laughs> God damn it. This looks like a boss arena if I ever saw one. But I think you could just go some breakfast place or pancakes for some extra butter. Take it home. Is that a UV light? Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Kelton powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! This may have been related to the spoiler I read yesterday. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. The fuck? This is ridiculous. 
We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. If you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? <gasps> <gasps> Oh, he's like super immune to melee. This sucks. I may switch to a pistol. Just because I have so many bullets. Come on, Reed. Try something else. True light will cleanse you. I do a shotgun to the face. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Show some style. Got a low stun to start with, at least. So bad so far. Yeah, I know. I'm just stand there taking it. Oh, it's so much light. I can't fucking see. Woo! Oh, that was mid heal. Okay, he, he can still dish out some damage. I just have a club. Here's the thing, it's a good club. <laughs> I can perfect parry to like stagger them and eat them. It's a good club. Alright, it's gonna auto skip the cutscene. This is a this is very rare for a game to actually auto skip a cutscene for you. will cleanse you come on Reed try something else he still hurts if he actually manages to hit oh that hurts a lot That blood drain. I really need to do that to myself. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. some style. <laughs> Fuck do I even stand? Oh, I'm fucking inside it. It's bad. a lot slower than last time. Fuck, for some reason that last one always gets to me. Fuck, this light is fucking everywhere. This is annoying. Come on, Reed. We will 
and prevail! <clears throat> I have no blood. Ooh! Perfect parry, though. Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt! God, that light's nasty. It's fucking everywhere! You can't even dash through it to, like, try and get to another side. It still hurts you. It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't also obscure my camera. Like it just get it just has like this whitewash. Also, every time I die, like the the serums continue to stay used, which really sucks. Show some style. Fight like a man. Okay, really? Okay, I can't do more than one hit at a time. I really tried, and every time he just hit me back. Well, fuck the light. Fuck it. Like, it's... <laughs> it is particularly nasty. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Okay, this is a decent start. I can at least get some blood. Right, I forgot I did a ton of damage last time by using a shotgun. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. I thought that still hit me. Free wind prevails! so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Show some style. Oh, I parried the shit out of that, come on. I hit it at the exact right time. Needs blood. What the fuck? Oh, the light's gonna... I have no blood. I'm just gonna use the serum. Oh fuck, I'm in the light. It's literally everywhere! Your poisonous bite is useless on me. It literally, like, I can't. I just can't. Like, the light, it's just fucking everywhere. I'm gonna run out of serums trying. This is the shitty part. Come on, Reed. Try something else. What is this star? Like, come on. I buried the shit out of that. Just fucking kill me. What level is he? I'm not paying attention. Is he like 36 or something? Makes me think I should go level and then come star. back. 33. Fight like a man. For fuck's sake. Close your 
Close your eyes! <coughs> this is gonna hurt. Free when prevail! <coughs> <coughs> Okay, I'm okay. If I'm always so fucking mid parry. What is hits me. Light burn you so He's in the light. I think I'm invincible. Your poisonous fight is useless on me. Can you? Can you, like, okay. Come on, Reed. Even if I hit twice, he ends up resisting the second one. Land will protect me. Show some style. Fight like a man. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. I got up. I'm focusing so hard. Right, don't go for two hits. Don't ever go for two hits. because he's stuck in it. Excellent, okay. Your true light will cleanse Doing good. Just be, be patient. Just like in Dark Souls. What the fuck was that lunge? Fucking hit me. Okay. I haven't used my shotgun yet, have I? True light will cleanse you. If you're so innocent. Why does simple light burn you so much? I felt like that shouldn't have hit me, but sure. Okay, don't be greedy. I can just kill him with my ult in a few seconds. Yeah, it sucks that your serums don't come back. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. That's there is point. no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. 
Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. Oh, really? That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Turning the bitch. I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You didn't even have the option to kill him. Just like me. No! No! When I kissed you, I told me goodbye. I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. <laughs> Dang. Welcome to the world through the looking glass. I slammed that door so fucking fast. <laughs> no mouth on mouth action. Uh I mean, how can you see the blood for sure if it's, like, sealed, you know? They really wanted you to, to see the blood. How do I know he's at the theater? I guess that's the last time I saw McCallum and... Is there anyone else here I can like talk to? Good evening. Ma Good evening. They're just Do none the wiser. Not up. Thank you. Goodbye. I suppose I'll keep this place re relatively healthy. I do need to go. I should probably evolve. Good evening, at this point. Doctor. And good e yeah. Do you need my wood? There is. Goodbye. Who else? He's fatigue again. Everyone gets fatigue all the fucking time. Good evening. I'm okay. Do you need a friend? You and you have. I feel like I've cured him of fatigue three or four times now. Gonna evolve. There was one thing that I wanted that cost like three or six thousand. Plus, every level, like, now that I know that relative level affects how much damage I take, it's pretty important to keep uh, upping that number. Where, where's the goddamn door? I gotta go, I gotta go, uh, uh, rescue Swansea, but first I need to ha have a nap. This is what's happening right now. I got nothing to analyze. I do have these, I just can't make them. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to make them. Maybe I can only loot them. Either way, I can cure Neuralgia. Once. Or maybe it's like a super end game. How are the citizens doing? Cured a lot of people tonight. Didn't cure his neuralgia. There's two neuralgias. The thing is, when you, if you get it early, then it's really cheap to like cure people. But if you like let it, if you let it go, it just like it always it always seems to go up by one stage. The docs isn't doing well disease-wise. I should probably go there at some point. Like, I can make sepsis and anemia and stuff. It's mostly like the headaches and the myalgia and shit. 
I feel pretty confident I, I can... You know where you are, I get the recipe. I probably just missed it. Like, legit, I probably just missed it. Uh, all right, I have the blood barrier. I could have been using the blood barrier. <laughs> Keep forgetting that shit. Uh, I'm using this the most. I really should just get level two of this. What was, there was a thing. Oh, yeah, I think it was healing. Trade more blood to heal yourself instantly. I don't want the cost to go up. It's already going to go up to 15. But I'm going to get a lot. I'm going to get more healing out of it. So. I'm going to go with the regeneration. I think the regeneration is going to help me heal the red bar better. That's my assumption. I guess we'll find out. And I was gonna get myself some max blood, because it's definitely falling behind. Wait. This only goes up to 50%? Yeah. I wouldn't mind my bite doing more damage at this point, but I'd rather have an ability that does more damage or a better heal. I think I want to admit, have this do more damage. Oh, it's 3,000. Fuck. Uh, it's 2,700. Fuck. Uh, I'm not using the coagulation. That's 3,000. That's 3,000. It's 4,500. God damn. Uh, all right, that's 3,000. Okay, so I can't do any more abilities. In a way, you could say it was forgotten. I'm not even gonna think about that hint. Just not gonna. Uh, the big thirst? That's good where it is. I don't need more than that. How much does this cost? 1500? I'm gonna do more stamina, actually. I said I wasn't gonna go higher, but like, with the amount of dashing I had to do. Just to live? Better. Okay. I'm tempted to get one of these just for a cheap level. Number of bullets I can carry. I mean, I do... wouldn't mind being able to have more shotgun bullets. What's 10% of 6? <laughs> 0.6? That's not getting me fucking anything. Of these level one, five hundred thousand. Yeah. I only went up, wasn't I level twenty seven though? I only went up two levels. Yes, murder of Aloysius. He was a man of vision, apparently. I'm not reading this, he's dead. Uh, still only in serious condition. They're fine. Yo, had a bunch of cures. And nothing got worse. Yo, went up 9%. No one got sicker. Noise. I haven't seen what Rakesh sells. Maybe he sells the last treatment. Yeah, I've not been to the docks. That's just slowly going down because people are getting sicker. There's so many people here I've never talked to. I don't... I don't understand. Where are these people? Yo, yeah, didn't I go to bed at level 27? I thought I went up one level per, like, upgrade.
curiouser and curiouser. Where's the fastest way to recash? And melt it. And I want to see if they sell new things because the status went back up. Maybe it's just better prices. sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again. I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. Did you try to kill himself? God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Snap. I guess I missed out on something because it's like they had like a they had like a flash and I saw someone else have a flash for a brief second and I just like didn't maybe that was a way to like spy on them and learn and learn something new good evening Mil. good evening I watched you have nothing I want Okay, somebody was over here a second ago. And I remember seeing like they were sick or something. Where the fuck? How do people do this? Must have been him. I turned my back for half a second and they've somehow like teleported 200 feet in a certain Good direction. Evening, Doctor. Do you need it? Yeah. I have print. You got anything new to say? No? Goodbye. I loot this can. Alright, fastest way to recash. I don't know. This way. Wait, oh, okay. I was like, is he not here? Things that no one could believe. It's locked. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Your hint Please of saying it was forgotten makes me think that maybe Nurse Crane had it. It's just trinkets and, and curios. And because she's dead, really. I can't have it. But I'm sure. Oh, I needed phosphorus and shit. Let's make a junk cigarette case. Am I right? I'm probably right. I locked myself out of having those treatments. Or you're just being, being cheeky. Fabulously cheeky. Uh... Wait, was that the theater right there? Was it? It's, I'm right, it's one of two ways. Hmm. I guess it is modern game design to not have missable, like permanently missable things. Because then it feels really shitty when you realize you permanently missed out. Neo 
Whoa. Lord Sheffield. He's very immune to shadow, but... Constantly does his thing. He doesn't do anything else. He hit me once for all them shadow explosions. Yeah, I'm assuming that was one of the guys I was hanging out in the Ascalon Club. Terrain. This is why I took extra stamina again. Now my blood! Oh yeah, like all sides are gonna hate me by the end of this. Maybe not the Brotherhood, that's maybe the only one that'll be like, yeah, you did terrible things, but you haven't opposed us specifically. Damage already fell off. I was powerful for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and then shit progressed again. I was like, uh, I'm just. And there's so many enemies as well. I mean, these guys aren't bad. Stay in there, give me blood. Yeah, like I said. I thought I saw a spider like in midair in front of my face. It may have just been paranoia. Cross the leaks, boys. I'm getting rid of you first. Fuck. 
who I wanted to jump on, but sure. I'm just trying to get into this theater. No. So I really wanted to deal with Ratatat here, but just because he's so weak in comparison, but like, the other dude's just like, he was so close to dead the whole time. This is where I'm getting all this grease. Because I fought, I fight so many people all the time in the streets. I don't even need to. They don't give me any loot that I need. I don't even need the loot. Or the money. Like, I could just... Until I'm, like, at a door, and it, like, won't let me through the door until I kill everyone. I don't need to fight. I can just... I can literally dash for days. Literally for days. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Ooh. I think I already had three of those, but... Cool. Shit. This is no place for you. The only reason why I bother with these two is because uh, I wanted to take a quick break without like pausing because it eliminates the, any like sound and music, even though there isn't really any music. I guess there's some music in here. It's quiet, it's quiet, but it's there. Um, I just want to get some water, go to the bathroom, all that kind of good stuff, so I... We'll be right back.